Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got an email here that's kind of interesting. I'm going to give some advice about something that I don't know too much about, but but I but I'm going to give you kind of a strategy that I would follow if if I were trying to do what Christos is trying to do here. So uh, so basically, what uh, th this email is about is becoming a Microsoft MVP. If you're not familiar with that program, Microsoft sort of awards and recognizes people who are outstanding contributors in the community as an MVP. Now, I don't think it's all related to that, and I'm going to tell you why here. So, Crystal says, Hi John, thanks for the excellent material and effort you put into sending us these posts. Apologies if my question is slightly unrelated, but I would be grateful if you could help me out in my quest to become an MVP in 2015. I am glad to help you, sir. Uh, I think I will go down the Azure road for my specialization. Apart from posting, publishing, and engaging with the community and other programming related stuff, what is the best way to get nominated? Should I be asking my readers slash fellow devs to nominate me? What other advice do you have that could help me achieve my goals? Thank you in advance for your time and I look forward to hearing back from you. So here's the deal. Well, first of all, let me say this, right? I am not. I haven't really picked a focus, so but but I haven't really you know sought out to become a Microsoft MVP. If if I do become one, good, great. Um, but but it's it's not really something that I'm I'm seeking right now. But if I were, this is the advice that I would give you. Okay, first of all, you're doing the right steps: uh, blogging, getting involved in the community, helping other people, you know, showing up in a lot of different places. Right, a lot of the stuff that I talk about in my blogging course and how to market yourself course. Those are the type of things that you want to do, and I can see that you're already doing them. I'm seeing more and more of you on my Twitter feed, on my, you know, on, on different places, which is good. That means that you're you're out there, you're getting your name out there. This is a very good thing. But I have a feeling that there's a lot of people doing that, and it's hard to get noticed and to get nominated as an MVP. I have a feeling that most people who become MVPs, now not all, and I know some people are gonna get insulted by this, but hey, this is just my guess here, right? Is that a lot of people that get nominated that become MVPs either self-nominate or they get people to nominate. I don't think a lot of times it just happens. Now I know that it does sometimes, right? But you gotta kind of shift fate in your favor. If you're waiting for people to nominate you, uh, it might not happen, right? I, I have a, of a feeling like, well, example, you know, not that, you know, not that I'm like super MVP guy or whatever, but I've never made it into the MVP program. I've never been nominated as far as I know. Uh, and that's because I haven't asked, right? I haven't asked anyone. I haven't nominated myself. If I wanted to do it, and it sounds like you really do, I would go down the road. Now, I wouldn't nominate myself unless you get desperate, right? <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because obviously a referral or a recommendation is gonna be more effective. And here's the thing, if I'm sitting on that committee deciding who should be an MVP, I'm probably gonna pick someone who has been nominated by multiple people. That's gonna have a, a big impact. So you're doing the right step, you're making it known that you wanna become an MVP. You're doing the right step in the community. Keep making it known reach out, what I would do is I would actually reach out to MVPs, right? And I would say, I would do exactly what you just did, except that I'm not an MVP, right? Is I would say, I'm really interested in becoming an MVP. You're an MVP. You know, I respect your work. I see, you know, I see the value, you know, pay a compliment, right? And a sincere compliment, not just flattery. Look for something sincere. Look at their website, your, their blog, right? You can always do a sincere compliment. Uh, and, and then, and then ask them advice. This is the same kind of advice that we, uh, startups should do when, when trying to get uh, funding, right? Is, is don't ask investors to give you money. Ask them for advice on how to raise capital. Same thing here. Ask MVPs advice on how to become an MVP. Express your interest about it, right? Talk about what you're doing already so you want to be specific. If you just send an email that says how to become a Microsoft MVP in Azure, you're, you're either going to get some generic reply or you're not going to reply at all. Be specific. Say, look, here's what I've been doing, right? This is going to give you a chance to kind of show off a little bit. And, and here's what I'm planning on doing. Will this work? Is this smart? How should I go about this? What's your opinion? You know, I value your opinion, so, t so give it to me, 
right? That's a much better approach. Now, what's going to happen, hopefully, when you reach out to a lot of MVPs and you're doing this and you're being sincere and you're going to follow their advice and you're going to and you're going to report back how you follow their advice and the results that that you're getting from it. So you email MVP says do this, right? You do that. You show them that you did this. Right, that's going to have a big impact, and hopefully, what's going to happen is a lot of these MVPs are going to nominate you, right? Uh, and you probably won't even have to ask for the nomination. It's going to be better that way. You know, see what happens. If this doesn't work out, then you can always ask someone specifically to nominate you. You know, I think just throwing it out there, saying that you want to be nominated, saying that you want to be an MVP, and then you know, showing that you're willing to take the steps and actions uh, to do it, and being specific. Uh, both, both about your question and, and, and your, your results and what you're doing is going to be enough, right? And if that doesn't work, then go to the self nomination route and, and, and ask people explicitly. I mean, you got to do what you got to do, but I, I'm pretty sure this is going to work, right? If I were going to go about becoming MVP, this is exactly the path I would follow. And, and I'm, I'm I, I would bet that this is going to have a 95% success rate as long as you can be polite and you are actually doing things in the community that you can point to. If you're just on that, you know, trying to just become an MVP for becoming an MVP, well, you know, people will see through that. So anyway, if you follow this advice, oh, d give me a re report. I want to hear back when you get this MVP, and I want to hear what you did. Well, maybe I'll even do a video interview with you and, and talk about you know how you executed this. So now you're on the hook to do this. So thanks for this uh, for this email. This is a good question. I think a lot of people are wondering this now. There's going to be a whole flood of people trying to be MVPs and, and following this advice. So uh, so you better get to it before everyone else starts uh, starts jumping in here. But most people won't have the follow through. Even a lot of people that listen to this video will listen to what I'm saying, but they won't do it. And that's the key: is you got to be the one who takes the action. If you really want something, you got to take action. Anyway. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have a comment, leave it below. And I would appreciate it as always if you're watching this video and you'd like to see more of these videos, if you would subscribe to my channel, you can just click that subscribe button somewhere up there and uh, or, or down below. I think they're like all over the place. Anyway, subscribe. Uh, I really appreciate it. I will talk to you next time. Take care.